Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's in the middle of summer. It's uh, 85 degrees in the workshop today. And I need to build uh, some doors. Double doors for this kitchen cabinet here. So what you see on the, the bottom here is a face frame. Alright guys, you're probably wondering what the heck's going on. Well, I'm live on location filming the new Handyman Survivor Series for Discovery Channel. And I just got a satellite message from Olight saying there's a new flash sale that starts tonight at 8 p.m. Not sure if that's East Coast, West Coast. What's on sale? There's a groups, groups, package deals. Uh, this here is one of them. This little guy here. This is the, the Purin, Purin Mini. It's got the... Uh, flashlight shines out the side that's good for when you're on a survival tv show and it comes with this headband you can put it on and it's got different settings also this is the one i carry every day but it's in a special special color so you, this is mine this is the one olight just sent me that's on sale links in the description 40 percent off 30 percent off and there's free things you get a bunch of free stuff too so go check the link in the description super bright especially when you're in survival situations Hopefully I don't die. This is a life or death TV show. You live or you die. All right, I better get out of here. Uh, don't know if it'll ever go to YouTube. I might just wait till the middle of winter and, and edit it and put it out in the winter time. Uh, so what I'm gonna do to start with is uh, get my offset from the edge. There's a quarter inch reveal uh, on each edge here. So that's where I'll set these ones here. Then I'll find the exact center from the top and the bottom. And I'll probably put just like a sixteenth of an inch gap um, between these. <clears throat> and what I can do is the hinges are adjustable. I can adjust this gap here in and out, get it down to a 32nd if I need to. Oh, it's getting hot. There we go. Now I'm going to take the inside measurements, uh, add a half, and subtract two sixteenths. People love when I say two sixteenths. It should be the exact. Oops. Should be the exact same. Ten and a half. I'm going for ten and a half. Ten and a very uh, thirty second under a half. The, my cutters on the uh, the router bits are are not an even half inch deep, which is kind of annoying. It's a sixteenth inch less. So when I say there's say two sixteenths, there's a sixteenth on this side and it's a sixteenth on this side that get get that uh, that number reduced. So I'll take you over to the dry erase board. So we got um, ten and one half plus one minus two sixteenths. So that's eleven and a half minus two sixteenths is uh, eleven and three eighths. So those are going to be my rails. So I need four pieces at eleven and three eighths. So I already have the router set up from the last doors that I built. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut I'm going to cut the uh, the ends of the rails first. I usually cut the groove where the panel goes in first, but since it's already set up, uh, I'm just going to do it kind of backwards. I'm labeling them as top and the edge that will eventually get the groove. Uh, so I just keep things oriented correctly. Incra miter guide, and it's what I use to put up against the uh, the fence here and run them through when you push a board into this router router bit against the grain it'll blow out the back side here so i always have a, a backer that i push through which is a piece of scrap so that this is supporting this when this thing comes tearing through and doesn't chip out the back side just hooking up my my dust vacuum tube here this setup here virtually has no dust at all it sucks it all up 
right into this little box and down the tube and into the dust or the dust deputy and into a five gallon bucket. Just found out the camera was taking pictures every time I hit the record button. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen, where I'm at. Um, I'm on my last one. I've got three cut already. Well, as these, um, these boards are still laid out on here, uh, I'm going to draw on them, label them top, and an arrow to where I want the groove. I think I've got it set up correctly, but I'm not going to jump straight to my door pieces. I'm going to use a piece of scrap first and uh, take some measurements and see how it fits into one of these. And uh, well, then we'll go from there. Man, that's good. Now I can run everything else through it. Here's the door frames dry fitted and now I'm just going to take measurements for the quarter inch paneling that goes in the middle. Use my combination square again, um, you can use really anything, but it's 7 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, yes, yeah, 7 sixteenths inch deep, um, not a half an inch for some reason. So I need to take that into consideration when I'm making my measurements. Of course, I know this is going to be ten and a half, and it's just kind of reconfirming measurements that I took before. Ten and one half. Ten and a half is the opening. We have seven sixteenths inch deep on each one, so this is the left side and the right side. Now, if we ended it there, that would give us the exact uh, dimensions inside the groove. Uh, but I want to take a sixteenth out on each side. Anyway, so I'm subtracting two sixteenths, and I get eleven and a quarter for my width. A light eleven and a quarter. And one of the reasons that I use these clamps. Uh, is, if there is any bow to this board where there can be a, like a pivot point in the middle, this track will shift. Um, 
if it was perfectly flat uh, there's like specific uh, workbenches that you can make to use these track saws so if it's perfectly flat and it's not a real smooth surface like it's just a standard piece of plywood you can get away with just putting the track down and it won't shift on you when you're cutting so I've uh, made this one inch or half inch longer wider than I need because my final cuts are going to be made on the table saw I got my thermometer hanging right there so it's six feet high in here it's 93 degrees this cut's probably going to trigger some people. In all seriousness, you're not supposed to do that. Um, if I had a cross-cut sled, I could have done that. Could have done a lot of things, but that is quick, easy, and I've never had any problems with it. I focus on the fence. Of course, I make sure I don't have any hands over it like here, and I'm focusing on even pressure, sliding, uh, sliding across the fence. I got my table portion waxed. This is waxed, it's real slippery. So I've just never had any problems with making those cuts. What I do next is a dry fit of everything, uh, make sure it's square, then take it apart, then glue it all back together. Um, it's just uh, an extra precaution. Uh, I don't mind remaking one piece, but if I ruin an entire door, uh, that'll piss me off. That dry run of putting it, dry fitting it together, um, it's just practice for when uh, when you got to put it together. that is it for this video um, these are going to dry overnight stay clamped up and they get set aside and then I do some more and then when I have a, a full section done I will prep them for paint and then paint them all you may have already seen the video I just decided to make this one at a spur of the moment 
Uh, like I said earlier, I'm not even sure if I'll make it into a video. Maybe we'll see this sometime in November. Thanks for watching. Click the bell, click the thumbs up, subscribe. And maybe if I'm doing this right, I'll see you tomorrow.